Praise the Lord. Coming in, wanting to share a word of the Lord, and that word is unity. And praise the Lord. Um, you know, it's really important that we come together as God's people. You know, we serve one God. There's one God, one spirit. He, he's a spirit, and we must worship him in spirit and in truth. And it's important that we come together as his body. You know, Christ is Lord of all, and he's the head of his body. There's many parts, there's many members, but there's there's one body. And there's one head over that body, and it's Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. And we have to come to a place, and I believe that that's what, hallelujah, that's what the Spirit is is, is quickening me even now you know how important it really is that we come together in unity that doesn't mean we have to agree with everything that's uh, spoken that uh, everything that's going on everything that everyone says but we can come to the basic understanding the, and, and be in agreement and accept as truth because you know the Lord is truth and uh, we can come together as, as his body because of what he is doing in our own lives, in our nation, and in the world. Because, you know, it requires unity. And in Psalms 133, it says, Behold, how good and pleasant it is when brothers dwell together in unity. It is like the precious oil upon the head running down upon the beard, upon the beard of Aaron, running down on the collar of his robes. It is like the dew of Hermon, which falls on the mountains of Zion. For there the Lord has commanded the blessing, life forevermore. Praise the Lord. Did you, did you sense that um, as I was reading that, how the flowing the flowing, talking about how it runs down upon the the uh, beard of Aaron, running down onto his robes, the flow. See, there's a flow in unity, just like, um, you know, like with the spiritual gifts, you know, there's, there's diversities of gifts, there's, but you know, it's for the common good of all because the Lord knows what it's going to take in our own lives and in the lives of others. But we just need to maintain or, or work towards um, maintaining um, an attitude and a posture of unity. We have to come to that place. And I believe that the Spirit of the Lord is just really stressing and emphasizing that. And in Romans 15, it says, And may God, the source of patience and encouragement, enable you to have the same point of view among yourselves by following the example of Christ Jesus. Verse 6, Then, having the same goal, you will praise the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. Christ. So see, that is the goal, is, is praise unto the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So, um, you know, we can all sing, Oh, come, let us adore him. Oh, come, let us adore him. Because Christ is our perfect spotless lamb that came to save us all to cut down every wall every barrier every division he and his father are one and he expects us to operate as one his body his his bride his his church hallelujah Colossians 1 and 17, Christ existed before all things, and in union with him, all things have their proper place. So everything has its proper place in Christ Jesus. Praise the Lord. 
in verse 27, God's plan is to make known his secret to his people, this rich and glorious secret which he has for all peoples. And that secret is that Christ is in you, which means that you will share in the glory of God. Praise the Lord.